Hello everyone, uh, this is Srikant. Uh, hope you are all doing good. Uh, before I jump into our developer corner, I would like to also introduce uh, Julia, who is going to be our community liaison for developer corner. Julia Bernstein, if you can please uh, introduce yourself. Thank you. Hi everybody. Um, so my name is Julia Bernstein and I'm the new developer corner liaison. So I'm your point of contact for any questions you might have about the new developer corner, which you'll learn about in a few minutes. I'm going to paste my um, community profile into the chat. Um, let's see, there's my community profile. I'm going to also send you guys a link to the developer corner, um, which is what we're going to be talking about soon. And finally, um, I'm going to be sending you guys a link to a feedback survey that I've created um, and we would love everybody's feedback on this new developer corner. Um, it, your feedback is really important to us. So it'll only take five minutes. I'm pacing that in now. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you, Julia, and welcome to the developer corner and our team. Uh, so Kashrikanth is also our developer, uh, developer advocate and evangelist. So what, what, what is developer uh, advocate, right? So first, uh, we, everyone, I am not sure if you all are aware of developer advocates, but developer advocates are also engineers, just like yourself, who are here to learn about developer uh, uh, corner today, right? Uh, so developer advocates have like uh, a role, like uh, of uh, the role of a developer advocate is to help developers be successful with a platform or a technology. And in this case, uh, I'm your developer advocate here, uh, trying to make you all successful with QuickSight as a product. Uh, all right, so developer corner. So QuickSight, I'm, I'm so happy that we have launched developer corner as part of the community. And uh, so, first things well, like everyone asks is like hey why developer corner why do we need a developer corner right and then uh, we will we will answer these three questions these three main questions today of why developer corner what is developer corner what is in developer corner and how to use it how you can make use of all the resources that are available in developer corner today so let's go to community here first right so what what uh, and here we if you see there's new developer corner in here so first what is developer corner right uh, developer corner is 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 a place where all the developers can go to learn more about uh, development using quicksight and this is mainly we are talking about like it's a one stop shop for all of the resources uh, that have been centralized in one single place for embedded analytics and APIs, QuickSight APIs, et cetera. Uh, that, is, that is where you will find. So I'm so excited about it because in the past I've seen like people going into like multiple places, like customers uh, having to go to multiple different places, be it from documentation to workshops to, uh, to YouTube videos. Uh, or sometimes even Slack, Stack Overflow. I've like I've, I've been guilty of myself like going to Stack Overflow on that. Like, but the thing is, now we have our own developer corner here, which consolidates all the resources that you need uh, to address your embedded analytics needs, to address your API needs. All of that can be found from one single place. You no longer have to go to multiple different places, multiple different portals to find that information. So that is developer corner. Let's go into uh, uh that and 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 beyond that what developer also can uh, has is has curated uh, learning resources for you so that you, you you do not have to stumble upon different portals again for learning uh, for your continuous learning uh, about quicksight uh, and development with quicksight so we have categorized the content into six different areas where you will see like we we can get started to learn about embedded analytics uh, then we have a demo section where we have like really cool demos. Uh, again, all these demos pre-existed. We have shown them to you in different learning series, uh, in different different learning series for different topics. But now we have we have all consolidated that into our demo section. Then we have a dedicated section for APIs and SDK. Uh, Watch video. This is very uh, very nice uh, to have all the developer development related features. Uh, to to be under one umbrella of what's new like whatever is coming new off the bat will be posted onto this what's new section and then how to videos 
we have demos we have getting started we have everything but then uh, we need to also make it and simplify it so that you can hear from our experts how to do certain things in the form of those snack size snack size videos so that you are able to take it and apply it in your uh, uh, in your applications right and then finally we have q and a that also is a consolidated section for all the embedding related questions and api related questions so with that let me let me dive into each of these sections today and and walk you through so the easiest way to get to developer corner is just click on the top menu for developer corner and those are the six styles as you saw getting started demos apis how tos what's new and q and a let's jump into getting started here you will find like series of uh, uh, of resources uh, where you can get started and uh, and let's say i want to learn about embedded analytics in quicksight then it gives you that video of embedded analytics in quicksight where you can play that video understand what all is in uh, uh, embedded analytics for quicksight but then additionally we also have like for those of you who want to just read at a glance we have like okay for example quicksight offers two types of embedding one is like no code embedding and the second is like api based embedding right gives you that uh, those links what are all the additional options uh, including the pricing here everything and then there are a bunch of learning resources okay we talked a lot about all of these and then i want to learn more about all of these where should i go you do not have to worry about that you can find all of those learning learning resources here right under the uh, this page you, you you can find all different links for each of those types that we have talked on the top so that makes it easier right like if you want to get started on an embedding uh with quicksight or any any product i know there is always curiosity there is anxiety of okay whether i will be able to do it uh what all places i'll have to go i don't know how much i will have to dig through to find information uh so this is just like getting started one one item of getting started right i can spend like days and weeks here there's a lot of information but then how can i curate three like this there's this is a lot of information how can i curate how can i find where to go directly right that is that is more important so if you if you go by the topics here at a glance like you all of you probably know what embedded analytics mean right you, you do not need like in, intro to embedded analytics i really highly recommend checking it because every tool has different uh, embedded analytics uh, but then and these are videos wherever you will see there is a video that's the video that's the video there is a video icon there but then if you're looking for like I, I just want to learn how how to how to embed dashboards into this then there is a workshop section you can directly go into workshop section and do it or if you if you are more like kind of me who who is like more a document kind of a person I'll, I'll just go to my technical onboarding guide and and start downloading this guide and go through the guide to see what are what all all is involved in embedding a dashboard into an application uh, i would directly just go here and do it or for those of you who are more tech, tech tech savvy you can always go back up to developer corner and then go into those apis and sdks where you you, you have this technical onboarding guide again talking to you about those uh, uh different set of apis that needs to be wired but then you have apis directly where you can go into our documentation uh find those apis from the documentation and see how to embed dashboards into your application there are other apis uh, there is sdk for embedding that you can go and then like you can also see look at our documentation for additional resources so uh, in in a nutshell like there are like based on based on where you want to go what you want to learn there are different areas uh, that are that have been segregated we are continuously making every single effort to add more and more content more and more features for example if you look at our what's new uh we added recently added like embedded uh, callback actions right and if you if you go into this learn more about uh embedded workflows and it gives you like information about what was launched directly shows you like code snippets of data point callback everything like you, you whatever you need to know and understand about this new feature it's it's all here in this page so this makes it easier for you to also track what is getting launched what is being worked on 
and then there is also like blogs what are all the new blogs that have come uh, come out in the recent past for embedding and you can go and check those blogs for embedding for example there is like build a seamless integration between your application and embed and so i was talking about like those uh, callbacks so if you want to see get some inspiration from here you can always go open that blog read that blog uh, and and understand how that data point callbacks work with code snippets with flow for flow diagrams and whatnot right so now you do not have to leave community like everything resides in the community everything is within the community your learning happens in the community and those videos on how to's also like there are for every type of embedding there are those introduction videos there is like one click embedding video there is anonymous embedding video there is user based embedding video so all of those concepts for your development of a dashboard and taking that and embedding that into your application can be done directly just by coming into developer corner in the past i don't know like how many places uh, users winded up going into and, uh, and 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 getting lost in the uh, information uh, of wealth basically in the, like the, there's like so much information out there in so many different places the whole idea about developer corner is to consolidate all of that into a centralized location uh, so that you can you can come in you can do uh, continue your learning if you're already uh, onto the path of learning or start your learning on embed and analytics with amazon quicksight so that's that's the place and then as always uh, community is a place where we want to collaborate with where we want to understand what is going on understand and unblock you if you are blocked in any way uh, and that happens through our q a so developer q a is another section where you can now directly go find all those questions related to your embedding all those questions with related to your development in a single bucket uh, with a tag of developer if you see all of those questions all of these questions that are here are tagged with developer and you can you can always start asking a new question you can uh, you can always uh, ask those questions and post them like Maddie was showing with 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 those specific tags, so that our team can understand if it is a feature request. You can tag it as a feature request because you you are also experts in in these topics. You're not just the users of QuickSight as you are. Uh, you start started your journey. Uh, if you are like me, you started back in 2016, 2017 timeframe when QuickSight was like brand new and now you are experts in those areas. So you know this product in and out, you know what are the new features that are required as, as you go through your applications and your requirements in your day to day life and your day to day job. You can always come here, leave that as a feedback in the form of a question with the feature tag of like new feature request. Or if you if it is a question that you are unable to solve, if you are midway through your journey, if you're starting your journey, you, you have a lot of questions. We do understand if one of your question is not already answered here, please post that question here, ask that question and see how overwhelming like uh, you, you will you will be overwhelmed with like the responses you get like there are multiple people multiple champions on community here who are trying to help answer these questions uh including our team uh here at amazon quicksight so i'm so happy uh again one one more time to see developer corner uh taking a shape here and 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 coming to all of you so that you can start your journey into learning uh, and uh and progress it from here and I, I, please leave your feedback as uh, as you go i know uh, that there is there's some feedback that is going to be collected uh, julia is that correct today or no yeah that's correct okay yeah so please please uh, go into developer corner uh, and uh, and start your journey let us know what you think let us know what is missing uh, because you are all experts again we want to hear from you what is missing we did our best to consolidate everything that is out there into this developer corner uh, 